technology students. We're coming to you today from the Trust Center Bedroom. Today we're going to be talking about blastoids. Now, blastoids are a very new field of science. In fact, the biggest project on it only started in 2019. Basically, it is scientists trying to create artificial life from already made life. Now, the project in 2019, it used mice in this example. So, blastoids are created from blastocysts combined with stem cells. Blastocysts are naturally occurring. They're the first stage in the human embryo. They're only about 100 cells, which is small enough to fit on the tip of a ballpoint pen. Now, those are cultured along with stem cells that are cultured. Typically adult stem cells. Most people associate infant stem cells when they hear stem cells, but these are adult. Those are combined to make blastoids. Now, the main reason that scientists create blastoids is just to study them, see what happens. So we're hoping to gain insight into miscarriages, certain birth defects, and the effect that drugs or other chemicals could have on birth defects or miscarriages such as in the case of the thalidomide babies, which were exposed to a chemical and are often associated with a birth defect that caused their limbs to not really fully develop, as seen in the picture. Um, but obviously, because scientists are essentially creating artificial life, there are a lot of ethical concerns behind this, and in the next part, we will be discussing some of those. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Blastoids. Hello, this is AP Daily. I'm Gavin Laughlin, coming to you from the Tricentral Band Room. Today we will we'll be continuing on Blastoids and their ethical concerns. There's a law already passed which you cannot uh, keep Blastoids past 14 days. Because, of course, we have concerns about it actually becoming life and if it's already life. They, as previously discussed, come from stem cells, as many people uh, think they are dead babies. But actually, they come from adult stem cells. Shout out to the Cassidy brothers, who did an entire video on them. Uh, should we regulate the studies? Should we lower the amount of days? Should we increase the amount of days? We don't really know. We don't really have a clear answer on when it's actually life and if they can actually become life and if so healthy life so should we continue with studies on the blastoid or should we remove it? But continuing on, because it's a new field of study, we don't really know when people will consider it life. So we could use animals, but people also consider that a problem. But if we use animals, we don't actually have to use human stem cells. Instead, human stem cells would be used with animal stem cells to create blastoids and see when that becomes life and if it can become healthy life. Thank you for listening. This was AP Daily, and we're signing off.